guys, welcome to another riveting episode of uh, Scruff Rush UK. So, me and Chewy this morning, uh, we're up early, out and about. Um, basically, I couldn't sleep, so uh, to Chewy's behest, I said, right, let's go out and have a look what Scrap's out and about. So, that's how we're going to start off this video today. Um, and then, we are also going to uh, be going through some copper motors and uh, transformers and processing them show you how we do them and we are also going to try and uh, sell the um, Rayburn Navelle cooker our, it's our cooker that we've got um, somehow uh, I'm going to see if uh, I can sell that for a decent amount of money um, so yeah stay tuned and uh, I'll show you what I get from this run Right, so we just got back and this is what we got, our little haul. It's nothing to uh, write home about, but it's a nice little bit, adds all to the weight. Um, so we'll start two microwaves, a couple of transformers out of them. Finally replaced that fire with the one that my parents gave me, so this is a broken fire. Uh, I was gonna take that apart and get the fan out of it, but um, I don't think I can be that bothered if I'm honest. Um, so we picked up a bike as well. This was out by some bins, so I'd say it was definitely being chucked out, and it was next to this bed frame thing as well, so it's definitely scrap. Um, bed frame end, uh, a few little scrappy bits there. I got some tools in there that I'm going to get the motors out of at some point as well. And then we got these, um, I think they're like water tanks out of a boiler, two of them as well. Um, and then you can always guarantee that when you're out, if you find nothing else you will come across fridges now obviously we can't scrap fridges because of the gases that are released from the compressors um but you can take the power cords off them so decent collection of power cords there this one i just took off a tv on the way here um it's got a european adapter on it so and it just yanked off because it's as you can see it was just plugged in um and then obviously we got the uh, brass off the plug sockets as well to make some plug soup at some point. Uh, and there was a door and I've magnet tested these and they are brass. Non-magnetic. Oh, that bit's magnetic but non-magnetic. Oh. And bit's magnetic. So that's steel but the handles are brass. They're not heavy but go to the brass collection um so yeah i will uh catch up with you all when i have a collect some more we'll start processing the transformers out of these microwaves all right so as you can see uh we've been back out we took the stuff that we got yesterday um and put it in the scrap cave for storage i've now got another two um microwaves bed frame steel sink, um, bottoms off trestle tables, washing machine, filing cabinet. Um, so they'll obviously be going down the scrap yard and we've got a few other sods and ends. Now this red thing here, very interesting, never seen one before. I'll get it out and show you at some point when I process it. Um, it's actually some sort of portable oven. Um, so it's got a cord on it. It's got um, a copper filament inside it. So we'll be getting that out. Um, but today we're going to fish the three microwaves out and I'm going to show you the processing of a microwave. Um, so I will see you when I start processing. Here we go with the microwave. Um, so I've got it all in the house prepared, got all my tools prepared. Um, so you don't really need much to dismantle a microwave. Um, if you were Vandal Vlogs, all you'd need is probably those two things. That to cut the cord and that just to smash everything to bits um but i don't do it like that i'm a little bit more sort of refined than that <laughs> so and i'm inside the house as well so i've got to do it the tidy way um so you don't need anything sort of um posh or or advanced um just a couple of hand tools i mean you could do it with just a, a hand screwdriver a hammer and the side cutters really but i've got um obviously my little ratchet set um little screwdriver set and an electric screwdriver 
Um, but yeah, I reckon I could probably just do it with them two screwdrivers. That, um, them side cutters and that hammer. Um, and obviously gloves for safety. Um, you also need the snooker on in the background, which we've got there. And uh, a bottle of beer. Um, so a colleague of mine bought me a crate or six, I think, a box of six beers, sort of uh, different sort of beers, um, bitters and ales, um, which have gone down very nicely. So uh, thank you, Steve, for that. I won't mention his surname. Um, he knows who he is. Um, you might not want his surname mentioned because I don't think he's going to want to become uh, internationally famous overnight. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on and uh, get this done. Right, so first thing we do, obviously cut the cord off. We have the glove on. Have a sip of beer. Delicious. Right, so it's quite easy to identify what sub transformers are for microwaves. Um, if you look at the bottom of the microwave, you may be able to see um, copper. Uh, uh. Oh, in the back of the microwave. There we go. I was looking at the bottom. At the back of the microwave, copper motor, so there we can see it in there. You can see the fan and the copper motor, so the transformer will also be on that side. You can see the capacitor there as well, which I'll be showing you how to defuse the capacitor as well. So what we want to do is just undo this one side first at the bottom here there is a motor so you just get your one of your screwdrivers stab it in this hole here goody copper motor wouldn't be too hard just smash it with a hammer this bit will come off and then you can get the copper coil out it's only thin copper so it's not worth too much money but every bit helps so to get this side off looks like it's just going to be Two screws, maybe three, I think two, nice and easy. Throw the screws back inside. Just a chance to settle back in there. Right, there's somewhere in here. Right on top here. Maybe you're going to be able to see. I'm going to take my gloves off temporarily to show you. So, uh, just right there, we have the capacitor. Now, uh, I want to thank, uh, thank Andrew UK. Um, so I'll give him a big shout out. 
uh, for the advice he gave me. He said these should be discharged um, or shorted out. Uh, the way of doing this is uh, unplug the cables, hold a screwdriver across both terminals, um, and then it should short out. Uh, it doesn't have to be a screwdriver, something with a rubber handle, obviously, because it can give you a shock. These can actually hold enough power to kill you, um, so you don't want a shock off them. So um, I got my rubber handle side cutters here. Um, so I'm gonna pull the actually just cut them so there we go so what I'll do is get my side cutters rub them in two metal prongs Hopefully this is enough to, like I say, short it out. I mean, this one's not, it's probably discharged because it's not making any noise. It's not, it's not making a loud bang. So yeah, I'm gonna say that's discharged. You guys sit back up here. Right, so I think I like to do with a microwave is to uh, clip off all the cords, get on my low grade cable out, just get it all out of the way basically. In the snooker, we got uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, Neil Robertson. That's an old classic match, that is. I haven't seen a them two play each other for quite a while. Two previous world champions. Two of the best in the game in my opinion. Don't know if any of you guys follow the snooker. This is the Masters Championships. I don't follow it as much as I used to. I used to watch it religiously but um, you know, since Ronnie's getting a bit old and goes out quite easily these days I got a bit bored of it. Still watch it every now and again though. I mean you're not going to get much low grade cable out of a microwave but again all adds up. It's the fifth frame and Robertson's 50 points. Oh. Two two on frames. No, they seem to be matching each other equally at the moment. Right, so we've got that little tiny bit of low grade there and there's still a bit more in here, which we will get once we started getting bits out. 
this uh, I mean that's that might be aluminium I've actually bought my magnet in there's nothing of value in there just like a tiny copper coil which is no point in smashing it open so I'll just throw that in with my shred um, like I say there's not much of any value in that so. next bit of fan I think we just held on by maybe a couple of screws yeah Plastic clips, which sometimes yank them. just like that. You got a nice copper reel there, nice copper spool there, a bit more low grade cable. Just snip the low grade off. two screws here which obviously hold the motor onto the plastic there Wait a minute. there we go I didn't need usually this is attached to it as well uh, but that's just come sliding off usually you have to break these bits here of the fan and then you can just put it out but there we go there's the oh let me pick them screws up because they're all going mad with these screws everywhere but yeah nice copper coil on there and then uh another copper reel on there as well not much on that one but it is nice and chunky and it again goes to the weight um so the next bit now is uh, the transformer here and this is very easy on this one sometimes the screws are on the inside it's really hard to get to this one Basically, dismantled. That's how easy it is. Right, here's your transformer. Now, these transformers, you got two coils. This one that's obviously wrapped up to the nines. Uh, let's see, is this side? This this side's less wrapped, so I'll probably do this side. Uh, and this one here that's not wrapped. Now, the one that's not wrapped is usually aluminium. Sometimes this one is aluminium as well. If they're both aluminium, I will not take the uh, transformer apart uh, because it's just not worth the time and the effort. Uh, sometimes both of them will be copper. Sometimes the one that's lacquered, which is often the front one, will be aluminium. 
and the back one will be copper. Now, I'd say 98% of the time I come across these, they're both aluminium. Um, but still, transformer weight, so let's... Robertson's back in, so I don't know if you can see that there. So it's clearly aluminium. Um, let's check the back one out. So we can get some of this. Sucks. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but that's aluminium as well. They're both aluminium. Um, so I won't be taking that apart, but it's quite easy to take it apart. Basically, see a weld line across here. A weld line across there. So, if you put it in a vise, or what I just do is hold it on the edge of a bench um, and hammer that bit. So the welds break, give it a really hard hammer. The welds break, and that then just basically falls off. This one here, then, you can get a screwdriver in and wrench it out, or whack it with a hammer as hard as you can and wrench it out. And then just on the inside bits here and here, there are more um, steel bits that go through. So again, you just get your screwdriver behind them, wrench them out, and then hammer that coil out as well. Uh, and then that is it, that's your transformer. And that takes about 10, 15 minutes to do that usually, and you get two well, you've got two copper coils, you get two nice copper coils out of it. Aiden is just walking through the living room in his pyjamas, off school sick today. He's got a bad cough, not corona, just a cough. So, um, right, I'll process these other two microwaves, um, show you what I get out of that. I'll process the washing machine, uh, we'll fill the van up with the stuff in the scrap cave and then we'll get down the scrapyard. Yeah. Right, so as you can see, Sasha's with, uh, turned up with us to start filming. Um, she just come home from school. How was your day at school, Sashi? <laughs> Terrible, why? Not penny. What did you learn? Nothing. Why did we send you to that school and you <laughs> don't learn anything? Who has a crush on you? You said somebody had no, a crush what? on you. No, 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 no. There's a young boy in Sasha's class that's got a crush on her. Daddy might have to pay him a visit. <laughs> Whoa, don't cut that one. You told me to. No, I needed that one. You told me to cut it. Okay. Right, cut these end ones. Cut the plugs off. There's a few more uh, wires in this one. Low grade cable, which is good. And um, one of the... One of the coils on the trans uh, transformer was copper. Just do one cable at a time then, so. Can I just do two? I'll do two, yeah. Big, big squeeze. There we go. Why is it here? Yeah, it's like defusing the bomb, isn't it? <laughs> this would take a long time. That would have to be, this bomb would have to be cut like these two. So not the white one. Uh, if 
You're interested in the snowcat, it's 4-4 four, four now as well. Speed this up in the edit because Sasha's Ow. not the quickest. Right. Hey, that only took five minutes. I don't like ten cut, minutes cut here, to the video. So it's daddy's fingers. Facebook Marketplace. 
which is where people give things away and they tell me they've got stuff for me to come and collect. So was, was there a guy that was always going to collect it and then you got there before him? Um, well, no, it depends who speaks to them online, uh, on Facebook Market. That hit me in the toe. It was only that here in the toe. <laughs> Classic it's connector. Oh. <laughs> it's literally in the toe again. It's falling out of the hole, isn't it? Really, you should clip as close to the thing as possible because otherwise you're going to lose all that extra copper. Brilliant. Well done. All done, sir. So thank you for your help. So that is. Oh, one more. Oh. There you go, so that is all the low grade cable from this one. You don't need to, this is like a 10 minute video. Well, this isn't the start of the video, I've already done bits of it. Oh. Um, yeah. So it'll right, be like so half an hour. Nice little amount of low grade cable, that's just two of the micro. I want to do more. Two copper motors. Two little copper coils on these circuit boards. Can I cut anything else? No, that's it, baby. I wanna do something else. And two transformers and which one did I just check? This, this one. This one. Oh uh, well you can see this. That one. Right, so I didn't bother getting the side mark out of the van. Uh, it was buried in underneath the washing machine and that, so it was too much trouble. So when I process the washing machine, I'll take that out of the van. Um, so here's the transformer. Um, this bit here was aluminium. This bit here was copper. Um, and I don't know if you can see on the camera there, you've got the weld line going across here. You've got a line going down there. And a line going down there telling me that this is the side that comes off. This side you've got the weld line, but there's no lines down them sides to say that it comes loose. It's a one unit. So hopefully, if it's anything like the last one, um, a hammer and a screwdriver will get the copper out. Another thing I've always found is, as well, if you get an aluminium and a copper reel, it's always the back one that's copper, and the front one's always aluminium, which means it's even harder to get to that. If that one was there, it comes out fast and really easy. Um, but it'd be too easy to do if they made it that easy and everyone would do it. So hopefully it should work. Quite the whack. Right, so that's that bit off. This bit, as you can see there now, will just pop straight out with a few hits of the hammer. Oh, one hit of the hammer, there we go. So that's the aluminium one. Now this back one, has got these two extra bits of metal down there. So, if I just whack this with a hammer, it should free it up a bit. Come 
very slowly. all the inside is beautiful copper um, the hardest bit of this is getting this tape off it's like welded on there pretty much so I will get this tape off and then I'll show you it with the tape off right so ripped all the tape off there you go, lovely block of copper there. And I mean, that's that's quite heavy, maybe even a kilo. Um, in fact, let me go grab some scales and I'll we'll weigh it. Right, here we go. So we've got 500, 570, so just over half a kilogram. Yeah, and you can see. To, well, I've actually ordered some proper scales, so um, I'll be able to weigh this stuff up properly rather than using them as kitchen scales. I've got to give them a good clean up there because she'll go mad. Um, so the problem with this is it's covered in all this adhesive sticky stuff. Um, so I have seen um, tips on how to clean it off, uh, people putting it in a bucket of Coca-Cola and all sorts of stuff like that. Might give that a try. Um, but if you guys have got any sort of advice on the best way to clean stuff off copper like that or any sort of metal, um, comment below, let me know, and uh, we'll do a video on how to clean up uh, dirty copper. Um, right, so I need to process that washing machine uh, and the other microwave. Hopefully the other microwave has got another um, copper coil in and it's not two aluminium ones um, and then uh, we'll get all this stuff down to the scrapyard uh, so I guess I will see you at the scrapyard next out of it already. let you know what the total is once I've been weighed so really happy with that not a bad weight at all there uh, in total it was uh, how much was the weight uh, 320 kilograms um, so over a quarter of a ton um, and it's 54 pound 40p uh, they're still paying 170 a ton at this scrapyard so uh yeah not not too bad there really uh go to the the petrol fund or whatever whatever it goes to um so again this is the end of another video um so i'm quite excited to do my next video because i've started doing a new project which i'll tell you more about in my next video uh i'll probably strip down some cables as well and strip down some motors um so that'll be coming up in the next couple of weeks uh, but as usual, thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. 
Uh, share this on all your social media feeds. Uh, get other people watching. Get me some more subscribers in. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, and until the next time, stay safe.